some of y'all don't know this, but Fallon does not like anything. Uh, when she first wakes up, she wants, she calls them natural sounds. Uh, she does not want to get straight up and listen to I Fly Away with a Banjo, but she wants to hear these natural sounds. She likes to hear locusts, frogs, and I'm wearing another $3 Goodwill shirt here today, everybody. About all of my shirts at the Goodwill. Socks and undergarments and stuff like that, we don't buy at the Goodwill. We just don't feel <laughs> Now, I bought shoes there. Again, I'll leave the socks. We're just sitting here listening to natural sounds. Everybody, I'm having to come back to y'all. I'm having to, because I'm getting information this morning. I'm getting information that I've not received in 22 years of marriage. Fallon just shared her deep thoughts with me. And I don't know if I'll be able to take it if I get any happier. But she just, <laughs> she just turned around and told me from her corner. But she said I would feel better if, what'd you say, baby? Because. She said I'd feel better if I just you slowly, you know, just you allow your body to slowly come into it. Awakeness. You need to slowly come into the awakeness, everybody. <laughs> if I wake up tomorrow and come into my awakeness slowly, <laughs> I might explode with with joy. It's gonna be crazy. I'll let y'all know how that goes tomorrow. I'll just come into my awakeness slowly and we'll see how I might just float right out of here. I don't <laughs> Right behind the house here. That show is pretty. Folks, I just want to say one thing. You can love somebody, but you don't have to ride it on a rock. I mean, I just want to bring that out. We got some beautiful scenery back here, but there's a lot of people riding on rocks. Candy bar. I really like that store, it's old timey. Now we're heading over the mountain do some more horseshoeing. It's not even five o'clock yet and the frogs are already starting up. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, that's not a snake. That is um, frog eggs. Isn't that wonderful? More of them. <laughs> I got some chicken started in the Instant Pot. For supper, we're gonna have chicken salad sandwiches or barbecue chicken sandwiches. Mainly had some cookies before we came out. And I'm gonna make some waffle fries to go with the chicken sandwiches. Sissy and Jonah have been bucket fishing out here. They caught a bunch of crawl ads and tadpoles earlier, they said. I got a tadpole. Oh, she got a tadpole. Uh-oh, here come the chickens. Watch out, they'll eat it. Can I try to catch one with my hat? You can try. Oh, they're so giggly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I 
Mommy. Look at Miss Turkey. She wants to know what we got in there. Mm -hmm. No tadpole snack for you, Miss Turkey. She's like, whatever. I'll just go to the pond and get some myself. <laughs> They'll run right here to the edge sometimes, right when we let them out and start catching tadpoles or whatever else they find in there. Hi, tadpole. We have a leaf in there. You caught a leaf? What is that? A koi fish. Put it back in the water, Jonah. It will need water. He pinches me, see? Oh yeah, he's got Jonah. Uh, pink, green. Green? Green again. Um, orange. Orange. <laughs> <laughs> We got back in just in time. It's starting to rain. The chickens are jumping in their coop. Oh, I think we need to go with 375. We're about to put the waffle fries in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and shred the chicken and let it be cooling down a little bit. Well, the chicken for the chicken salad needs to cool down a little bit. The barbecue chicken, I'll just go ahead and mix the barbecue sauce with it. Everybody except Jacob and Sissy like the chicken salad, so that's why I'm making some barbecue. I'm gonna put the chicken in the KitchenAid here to shred it. That'll be very quick. And I'll just take the Can towel. Somewhere safe. Yes, I sure will. He wants me to put his vanilla wafer somewhere safe. <laughs> I don't know what he Let's see. I'm gonna put the barbecue chicken in here. And we just need a little bit of that since it's just Sissy and Jake that want a barbecue chicken sandwich. I have some buns left over from the cheeseburgers. The rest of this will make the chicken salad. I'm doing a little bit of a new chicken salad recipe. Okay, so we'll let that cool down. We'll go ahead and get the waffle fries. Is that a mosquito? Not today. They are already showing up, y'all. All right, the chicken is almost cooled down. We're gonna go ahead and slice up the grapes. I'm using these black seedless grapes. You don't have to put the grapes, of course. We really like grapes and apples and stuff in chicken salad. Hmm, do I wanna put some apple? Hmm, I don't think I'm gonna put apple this time. This is a poppy cheat, uh, poppy cheat, <laughs> poppy seed chicken salad. Okay, we're gonna put some salt and pepper. This is a nice springy chicken salad with the fruit and all in it. I like chicken salad without fruit too. I'm gonna add some mayonnaise. I don't measure this, I just see how much chicken I've got and eyeball it. That looks like it'll be enough. Now we're gonna put some poppy seeds. And I forgot to get some celery. I might have some celery in the other refrigerator. I'll put some poppy seeds in and go check. Nope, no celery, but it would be really good in here and pretty with the green and the darker colors from the grapes and the poppy seeds. We made a spicy chicken salad one time, too, that was really good. I'll link the other chicken salad videos down below. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. Now we're gonna add some almonds in here. Just about that much. I dropped one. <laughs> and that's gonna be it. Like I said, if I had some celery, I'd put that in. We're gonna go ahead and slice up the pita bread and get it ready. So we're just gonna spread some mayonnaise in here and then put uh, the chicken salad and some lettuce.
Mommy. Even Manny Max getting ready for Easter. You picked the Easter one. Well, Sissy actually picked it. Oh, Sissy picked it for you? <laughs> Did she already read it to you? No. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Time to settle down for the night, Cubs. It's Easter Sunday tomorrow, says Papa. Are you going to read us a bedtime story before we go to bed, Papa? Of course I will read to you. Long ago, Jesus lived in the Holy Land, teaching about God and what God wants for his people. One day, Jesus and his disciples went to the holy city of Jerusalem. The people of Jerusalem greeted him with joy. They shouted, Hosanna. The leaders in Jerusalem grew worried. They did not like it when the people called Jesus a king. There already was a ruler of the land. They did not understand that the kingdom of Jesus was really the kingdom of heaven.